What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike, and this high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company and all of the 562's Lakewood High School coverage this year brought to you by J.P. Crawford. This ain't your father's John Ford Stadium. After a much-needed facelift and field turf, Thank you to Joe Kling for the drone shot. Lakewood is ready to host its first game on campus since 2019. This is so important for this community, this school, and it starts against Orange Vista. This Lakewood program coming off kind of a tough season, but a good coaching staff and some key returners hoping to build some positive momentum. And what is more positive than getting Texas to help you open up your stadium, JJ? <laughs> Burnt Orange Vista is in the building. They don't have big numbers, but they got some big talent. As we kick off, I want to warn Lakewood fans, this year you might not want to blink when your team has the ball because they are going to go no huddle. They're going to try to play with some tempo. So I put this in fast forward, obviously. But you can see they're just going to try to get back on the ball. Now, it does bite them here on the first drive as Brayton Downing is sacked for a big loss. Well, it's hurry up whether things are going well or not. It's going to happen quickly. Orange Vista trying to take the top off all night long, and it worked enough. The freshman quarterback, Khalil Aziz, and then he's going to his number one target here. That's Sire Gaines. Very good has a UW offer a couple plays later. They punch it in for a 7-0 lead. Here's a good example of the night for Lakewood. Just inches off a game-changing play and then going the other way. We mentioned earlier, OVHS trying to do this a lot. More successful when Gaines is on the receiving end. Uh, number 11 is a player for sure. It's fourth down just outside the red zone. The ball gets bobbled, but not bobbled enough. That's good enough for a first down. And it was just that kind of a night for Lakewood. Another slip screen for the Coyotes ends in another touchdown, and they're up 14-0. Lakewood needs some positive momentum. Looks like they get it here. Nice play by Downen. Buy some time. Get your receiver on the sideline. Next play is third down, and that's not how you win football games. No, definitely not. Bad timing for them uh, on those mistakes tonight. Back to the Coyotes' offense. She's still trying to close that capital gains tax loophole, JJ, but so strong. And then uh, also playing defense, right receiver, running back. They go up 21-0. to zero. It was 47 seconds left and a penalty moved the kickoff back. Zion Smith is going to take advantage. Movement of ja people. How about a dribble drive down the sideline? This game is weird, Mike. It, Lakewood desperately needed that spark. And at halftime, it's 21-6. It was nice that one bounce went Lakewood's way, JJ. That, That's at least fair. That, that was nice. That is fair. Uh, shout out to the Lakewood band. Can't wait to see them in uniform and back on the field at halftime. Early in the second half, Aziz is trying to throw. It doesn't matter what he's trying to do. <laughs> Rakeen Moore has the, returned with the interception. The rock. The ultimate leader by example out there. Lakewood has some momentum. However, they give the ball right back with an unforced error. Ugh, that is devastating. But the Coyotes are going to repay the favor. This ball is loose. And then after a long scrum, Noah Mallon is going to be the one who comes out of there with the ball. It's been a hot summer. You need some Mallon, Jake. Absolutely. A few plays later, third down, down into Caleb Foster. Shrugs off gains an absolute dime from down in Foster. Cap it a great night to the hizzy, 48-yard touchdown. It's a ball game, 21-13. They needed that, but a game-changing play here. The late whistle is going to cause it, but it looked like the rock ripped the rock and had an easy touchdown, but it's brought back, and they say it's a dead ball. One of many pivotal moments in this game. Next play, Aziz on the run, late hit. It would have been fourth down and said it's first down inside the red zone. few plays later, Aziz back to his guy, Gaines. Great catch on the far side for a touchdown. And even though this game could have gone a bunch of different ways on a just a few plays, it is a very humbling 35-13 loss for Lakewood. Lancers will watch the film, try and find some positives to take forward, and they will be facing San Dimas back here at John Ford Stadium on Thursday. San Dimas High School football rules, Mike. That's going to be a great game. <laughs> Thanks, as always, to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And if you want to continue to follow everything local football, you stay right here at the 562.org.